Hello, uh, this is Cozy FX from Designer Studio or DZNR Studio. So uh, in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a realistic, hyper-realistic 3D t-shirt mock-up. Now let's get into it. So to make these mock-ups, you need a software called Clo 3D. So Clo 3D is an industry standard fashion design software. I'll put the link to install the app. In Once you've downloaded and installed the app, it will ask you to log in into the software uh, with the credentials you used in uh, you used to register on their website. So log in into the app and uh, use the default settings, the default keyboard and mouse settings, and uh, you will come up with a view like this. So now you're ready to start uh, creating the mockup. So the first thing you want to do is uh, open up the uh, mockup template file. Uh, so at Designer Studios, we've created a collection, a wide range of uh, clothing mockup templates, 3D clothing mockup templates for uh, designers, for other designers and clothing brand owners to use. So uh, to use this file, all you need to do uh, is install the software and now you can get the file from us at, uh, on our website, designerstudios.com and just open the file. And once, you've, once you have opened the file, you will see something like this. So this is the templates to do what I'm doing right now. I'm using the middle mouse button, the middle scroll button to go up and down, up, down, up, down. So this is uh, pretty much very easy to use. So I'm scrolling by going up and going down. And also I'm using uh, the right click, hold on the right click to rotate like this. So you can see the back, you can see the side, you can see what the inside looks like and all that stuff. So. This is me holding the right click and moving it like this. And this is for zooming in and zooming out. So that's just a, that's just a basic on how to navigate the software. And to get a fully perfect view like this, press the num button two. This is two, this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Anyways, let's get into the video, the main part of the video. Also, one more thing I would like to uh, explain to you guys before we uh, start adding uh, logos, changing colors, and all that stuff is uh, on this right side. This is where we'll be doing most of the work. Actually, this is where we'll be adding the graphics and the prints and everything. This is where we'll be. This is the front. This is the back. And also, uh, to get more information on uh, the details, the pattern details, just come up here. Display to the information. Show pattern name. So yeah, like you see the pattern names. This is the back. This is the neck label. You can also add your um, logo right here. This is the front pattern. This is the right sleeve and the left sleeve. Now to the uh, to this section, this area. So this is where we can change the color of the t-shirt, the color of everything. And here, this is where we'll be adding the. Um, this is where we'll be adding the graphics actually, before we can bring it in here. So I'll show you guys how to do all these things. It's very simple. It might sound complicated for you, but it's actually very simple. Um, yeah, so many more things, but this is where we'll be working mostly. These two places, okay? This is where we change the color of the body and everything else. This is where we add the graphics, the actual graphics. So now let's get into it. So the first thing I'll be doing is adding all the graphics and logos that I'll be using for this video. So to add my graphics, I need to come up to the graphics section here, graphics, and drag and drop everything that I'll be using to design uh, this t-shirt or to make this t-shirt mock-up. So, so I've dr uh, dropped everything I'll be using here and now we can just start working. We can start designing. So the first part I'll be working is this front pattern right here. So I'll be again to put the logo on this uh, on the pattern, you can just drag and drop just like that. And as you can see on the 3D view, you can see the uh, print reflect on the 3D view. So now we can scale by coming to this angle right here and just scale it down a little because it's looking way too big. Now. So this is good. I think I'm okay with this. Yeah, I'm okay with this. And now I'll work on the sleeves. So for the sleeves, I'll be doing like a more complicated you know, stuff. 
or dr again, drag and drop, scale to the size that I want it to look like, scale it a little bit more. So, as you guys can see, I'm just dragging and dropping, drag and drop. See, and now copy. So I highlighted everything by holding the left click and I right clicked copy and then I'm going to paste it right here in the right sleeves flip horizontally as you can see I've done the front the back I mean the front and the sleeves so the next uh, part I'll be focusing on is the back so for the back I would like to use this and I'll just drag and drop as usual scale it up make this big a little bit and to position it like this, to move it around, I'm basically using the left click to hold on the, on the graphics and, you know, moving it around. So I'm okay with where this is right now. And yeah, I can just scale it a little bit. And yep. And also I'd like to add the neck label. So for the neck label, I'll use this. Drag and drop and then scale. Scale it a little bit more, make sure it fit. Still cutting up. Scale it a little bit more. And here. So this is the this is what it looks like. You know, after adding everything. And yep, yeah, that's pretty much what you have to do. That's pretty much what you have to do, all you need to do. So to change uh to change the color of the of the t-shirt you can come down here to the uh, fabric section so in the fabric section we can change the garment color and everything else so let's zoom out of this and so yeah let's change the color of the garment now to change our uh, fabric colors so basically you come up here select the fabric you're trying to change the color of. and once you select you will highlight uh, which patterns are using that fabric property so I would like to change this first. So to change this and to change this, I would come down here first just to remove the edit grid properties by clicking on this texture editor and delete this, right? If you're making one color way, then you can just delete this. Or the best thing I would advise to do is come down here to where it says editor, colorway, and it will show something like this. So this is colorway A, or you can rename it. This is a either gray and color will be so the second color we i'll give this a black a black and i'll close this part back so to change the colors i'll click well first of all come down here and oh it's actually empty okay so the thing that was in the gray one is not here so that's fine so to change the color just come down here to the color and give it a black color right that's black or a deep black okay also i'll change the neck the neck color come here so this white change it to black okay and the label color is fine the label color is fine as white also you would notice the thread they are also thread on the fabric right and the thread color is also is gray so i would like to come up to the to the uh thread section or where it says top stitch so click on the top stitch section and click on the top stitch and just scroll down here to change the color to a black color right right so now the top stitch is now black and you would notice something right away when we change the color of the fabric that um we can't see the graphics anymore so if you're using a plain graphics where you know it's just one color you can change the color in this app without using photoshop or anything else so to change the color i'll just click on uh 
let me do the front one first so i'll click on the points and then i'll come down here to where it says texture and then i'll desaturate so once you desaturate you automatically become white right and you can go ahead to the color section to change it to any color you want so basically you can just freestyle right so i would like to use green okay i'll be using this green because it blends well with the black and I don't want to use plain black and white. So now let's do the same thing to the sleeves, the prints on the sleeves. I'll come up to the box right here and come down here to where it says texture. I'll expand it and then desaturate. It will become white. And then from there, I can give it a green color. Um, yeah, that's how you do it. So I'll do the same thing for the back. Um, yeah. Texture, desaturate, and then change the color to a green. Okay, so this is how you can make colorways, right? So to make it another colorway, you can come again to the editor colorway, and then you know you can also add another colorway and just do whatever you want. Okay, so I'll stop there. Uh, this is the yeah, I'll stop right here. So here we have the T-shirt, you know, the realistic T-shirt. Uh, with the graphics and everything else so now to make the mock-ups the picture this is where the magic happens to make the pictures of this uh, design we've done here just come right over to render render and to preview what we've been doing just to see what it will look like click on this refresh okay click on this refresh take a couple seconds and as you can see, this is what the final result will look like on the right. As you can see, you know, so one, two, three, four, five. So to make a mock up like the pictures, right? The final pictures where you get a JPG or PNG. So this is where we do that. So yeah, let me show you guys how you make the mock up. So first thing first, you come up to this. Uh, what is it called? It's called the image or video properties. Here, you want to set up the size of your image, the width, the height, and also uh, width. Well, let me start from the head, right? So here, you want to click a turntable image. Colorway should be current. So if you're making multiple colorways, you can choose all colorways. So it makes a render of all the colorways, like, you know. So if you just want to do uh, the current colorway, that's totally fine. So here I'll be doing the current colorway actually. Image counts, I'll be doing four. So this image count, basically I'll be getting the front, the sides, the back and the other side. So that's this count. It's, I'll get the front, I'll get this view, I'll get the side view, the back, I mean, I'll get this, I'll get this and everything else. But yeah, I just, you know, I want just four. You know, just to make everything quick. Direction, you can choose any direction you want. This is totally fine. Save video, we won't be saving the video right now. Orientation is portraits. Yeah, we're making a portrait picture. And yeah, so the background. So if you're willing to add a background to the uh, to the mock-up, because right now it has no background. So if you're trying to add a background to the mock-up, you can just unclick this transparency if it's not clicked okay it's currently on you can just off the transparency and you will see automatically you'll see a white background and then you can change the color to you know a gray move this to the side you can change the color to a black to a, any color you want basically so you can change the color so i would like to keep it gray but in fact i don't really want any background but you can use so you can choose any background you want but for me, I'll be canceling and I'll also be turning on transparency because I like to have it without any background. So if I need to add a background in the future, I can do that in Photoshop or and you can also upload it to your website like this without any background and it will automatically become white. So yeah, that's for the, that and the file name should be, you know, the project name, of course, the boxy t-shirt. If you want to use a custom file, click on custom name and add a name. You would like to uh, render this as so i would like to keep it to the, as the project name 
and then now the uh where do you want to render this like we, the file path you want to render this to so i would like to render this to let's see i would like to render this to desktop So I would like to render this to Designer Studios, um, 3D files. Well, you know what? I would like to render this here, right? Select the folder you would like to render it to, and the image format. I'll advise PNG always, cause with PNG uh, you keep all the quality. So now to make the now we've uh, add the settings and everything. Also, one more thing I would like to do here is come down to the render properties. If you're using a uh, GPU, if you're using Windows and you have a GPU, please use your GPU to render, you know, because it works faster. And also, yeah, quality, medium or high, anyone is good, they are all good. And also the lighting, you know, you can increase the light intensity, but the default is, you know pretty much perfect so you can just skip that and now let's render the image so to render the image to make the final pictures all you need to do is in fact i'll change this to all colorway so to make the final pictures just come here to where it shows play and press the play button um boom you guys can skip this part but you know i'm just showing you how it does the thing so can see the front, the side. So now it's done rendering, and I'll you will say uh, you will see this uh, information once. It's done rendering the mockups, right? So image video has been saved. So I would like to open up the folder and see the result. Uh, this is one that I did previously. I'll just delete it. Uh, delete. And yeah, this is the result, right? As you can see, this is the front. Look at the detail. You know? Look at the detail. Anyway, this is the front, the side the back and the other side and if you're trying to get more quality more details you can always increase the resolution right so this is the result and yep so that's that right so now let's work on like you know something more professional like if you're trying to get like a close-up shots if you're trying to get close-up shots i can show you how to do that so again i'll activate this uh, render preview and come to the 3d view so remember to rotate hold on the right click to rotate like this so i'm trying to do more professional shots right like a close-up shots and also like a yeah you know you, you, you get what i'm trying to say but yeah so hold right click to rotate and you can zoom in by using the middle uh <coughs> excuse me by using the middle scroll button so hold to zoom in as you can see we can make shots like this you know we can make shots like this and now to render this type of shots click the start button change this turntable image to image right so change it back to image and you press final render oh he's doing it for both colors by the way so it's fine But yeah it's done with the shots let's see what it look like and yeah this is the result as you can see the close-up shots uh, see the second one as well now you can see guys like look at this quality you can literally use this to promote to do anything you want you know on your social media page or on your website so now yeah that's that you can literally freestyle any angle you want so now let's move on to the next, which is the 360 video. I know this is the one everybody wants to do, right? So to make a 360 video is actually very simple. 
again here under the image or video properties i would like to change this back to a tongue table image and the colorway for this one i'll just make one right i'll make one uh current yeah i'll just make for the black one and image count so for the image count the image count is really important to the quality of the 360 image so you can do 180 180 is fine you can also do 360 which means it will make a total 360 angle shots for uh for the t-shirt but anyways you can use between 180 or 360 for the best quality so uh for this video i would like to use 180 right but best quality by the way for best quality please use 360 especially if you have a good like computer like if you're using a uh in gpu on windows or uh you're using a mac but i gpu and once you've selected that you can keep you can use clockwise or counterclockwise anyone you want the difference is the counterclockwise goes like this and the clockwise the clockwise goes like this that's the difference and the next thing is the pixels like the resolution so this is the default resolution i use personally and you can increase it you know if you want more quality like more image quality and also uh ppi you can just leave that at 300 and also transparency now to make a 360 video uh if you're making a 360 video on chrome it always especially if you're saving the video for example if you select saving the video let me refresh this so i show you guys what i'm talking about so when look when you're saving the video like while you're doing the 360 in the in Clo, if you're saving the video it, you would need to use background no matter what like you can't keep the transparency on so you would need to use a background right a white background or any background color of your choice but if you if you know how to use premiere pro or cap cuts you can actually uh uncheck the save video so basically uh and if you're trying to use transparency by the way if you're trying to use uh transparency uh you would uh need to render all the images first and this is also safe like you know because uh just in case while rendering the video uh the 360 and it get corrupted or something like that but anyways um so if you know how to use premiere pro or CapCut, you can render with transparency and it will make the images right the sequence images that you can input to map or CapCut, then that will now make it a video but if you are not experienced in premiere pro or CapCut, just uh check the save video so it saves your video directly you don't have to worry about others or anything else so now uh here i'll just choose a gray background and yeah you can use white anything you want and you can also delete this vignette if you don't want vignette you can delete it and it will just be a flat gray background you know so once you've done that now we can make the 360 video right also the video format you can use mpi or evi anyone is good mpi or evi and yeah so that's all about it and now you can just stop first and then click on this final render so once you click on this final render it will start making your 360 video now it usually takes time right because it's making uh depending on the image count is making that amount of images right is making this total amount of images 180 images of the t-shirt to make the video so basically one two three four five six seven eight nine just like that you get you get what i'm trying to say but yeah so once you press play you will make the video and yeah man you will have your 360 video and i'll show you guys the end result of uh everything that i did okay just a side note guys so while i'm rendering the 360 video i would like to yeah just explain to you guys that um this uh method can be applied to every other templates on our website so check them out if you're making a hoodie mock-up you're making a uh uh sweatpants mock-up you're making a we even have the uh, what's it called the 
uh, I forgot the name, but we have all sort of uh, templates. So go up to our website and check them out. Also, we've also on our website, we've also added like tutorials on how you can um, do like complicated prints, like embroidery, pop prints, Chanel prints, and everything else. So if you guys want to know more on how to make those type of complicated prints and add them to your mock-up, we've done all those videos on our um, website as well and it will probably publish it on youtube at some point but yeah um that's it for this video so yeah i'll be uh the next clip will be the result of the 360 videos and the images we did together in this video so thank you so much for watching and i hope you grabbed something uh resourceful i mean i hope you learned something from this video and yeah thank you for watching peace